What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm in the house today. I am gonna go drive for about four hours, but I wanted to talk to you guys real quick in the house before I forget my chain of thought. Cause when you're a smoker, if you don't stay focused, you will forget like that. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about is the journey of being an entrepreneur is very very long I don't want that to be the title because that sounds really bad but Glendon Cameron was right and I was one of those stupid people that was watching Glendon Cameron for years before I finally took action for years so he's right when he says people will watch year after year after year and never take action i was one of those um finally in i will say 2017 i want to say i finally started taking little baby steps and i figured out a way to liquidate my brother's 401k and because literally he had no hope and he did some things on his very good job at Trader Joe's that I can't even repeat, you know, without making him look bad. But he did some things where he would have to go with his tail between his legs in order to keep his job. And it was a really decent job at, I want to say, what, 20, at the time, 20-something an hour. I want to say, like, 20 six damn near dollars an hour and he was only there like nine years i don't know if they still pay like that you know what i mean but anyway he left his job he had a decent 401k we were able to liquidate that but we did a lot of things wrong we overspent so i don't want to come on here and make, try to make you guys believe i'm perfect I've made a lot of mistakes in this journey, and it is a long journey. I think that's why Glendon was saying it's going to take time. You got to get out there and try, make those mistakes. I've been making mistakes for about three years now, guys, and I'm still here. I'm still here, guys. Literally, I've been just going through the motions, and this is my comeback stage in the past three years. So I had a business failed, lost some money. This is my comeback stage, but I'm still here. And why am I telling you that? Because you never can give up. The people that I believe, this is just my theory, the people that come out the end of this, you know, let's say this next coming year, they come out on this with at least a six figure small business and a decent place to live are the people that don't give up. And you know, one of my subscribers, um, through the graces of God, he had the ability to go out and purchase a home. You know, and I think that's great. But I'm at the point in my life where I think bigger, where I don't want my first home I want my first investment property. And that's the type of mindset you have to have. I don't want to lecture you guys on mindset, but this is how you got to be. You got to be obsessed with being an entrepreneur. I am obsessed with being an entrepreneur. To the point where probably I'll be on my deathbed worried about if my business is still making money to funnel into my living trust. I'll be dying worrying about that. This is the, you know, the mindset you gotta think like. You cannot give up, and I feel like my brother just gave up after our failure and moved on with his life, and um, that was his choice. We are just different people. You, you'll find that you could be born from the same people and be totally different. You know, I'm just so glad he's alive. He disappeared for a while. 
you know, and my youngest brother was able to locate him, so he's good, he's alive, he's making money, um, but he will never be any higher than the level he is now. And I'm not saying that to brag like I'm going to be this millionaire or anything like that, but I guarantee you guys this, because I'm experiencing it now. There's never been another time in history for you to be poor and not get money in this economy to start your business. This is the easiest time. This pandemic has made it, it sounds bad because it was a tragic thing. This pandemic did kill a lot of people, but this pandemic has allowed people to get money so easily to start the business, all you need is the idea. That's where people fail and fall off. Some people don't have an idea. They go out and they go buy these new cars. You know, the Dodge industry is blowing up, or was. And then when they realize that the, the Dodge is not gonna put food on the table, instead of buying that Dodge, they could have went out and bought say a a van that van could have put food on the table this is the mindset you have to have you know i purposely went out and got a cheap expensive inexpensive car on carvana i got videos on it i might link it below only to use for uber and and some wise guy said, well, why why did you get a Ford Fiesta to do for Uber? Because I would have had to put more money up for a better quality vehicle like a Toyota or a Honda. You got to think small. That car will make me enough money so that I can go buy another Toyota or Honda later. It's not about the car. It just had to be economical. It's great on gas. You know, it wasn't the small hatchback version. It's a decent small car, four doors, to use for Uber to make more money. And now I could go back out now and go purchase another car even, put a driver in it, doing some gig economy, and now I have another income stream. This is how my mind works. And you, you'll find on the journey that you're going to make mistakes. Um, everybody gets scammed. The best you can do is minimize you getting scammed. Meaning, if you're going to invest in crypto, do it in small amounts. If you're going to invest in companies, people, even me, you know, you got to figure out in your head, okay, I'm only going to put up this amount because I can afford to lose this. And I did that with the Troy Mason detegrity situation. I put up some money. It was a couple grand. And uh, it's like five grand. And a lot of you also put up five grand, but you couldn't afford to put up that five grand. You know, and you were devastated and it killed you. Of course, I was upset. And there's a couple other people that I talked to. They're still upset. But it wasn't their rent money. You see what I'm saying? And going forward, I would probably never invest that amount into any other company except myself. That's my standards now. So we're all victim to it. It, it happens to everybody. Um, the one thing I did learn, though, that you're going to learn something from people even when they're quote unquote negative. Like that, the 25X Club, aka Z Integrity situation. For those that know, that have been following me a while, they're a very shady company. But the one thing I did learn about Troy and his companies is that branding, branding yourself is very important because he had a failed brand and immediately you see him start building up a new brand 
the minute Z-Tegrity went down, Troy went to work and started forming another brand and started promoting another brand on the same platforms. That's a lot of balls right there. But you can learn from that. And I also learned that I see what he's trying to do, guys. Troy is not about... Here's Troy's mindset. I know what he's thinking. He's thinking that it's about the user base. This is why followers are very important. Troy knows that if he can get several thousand followers on a consistent basis, paying a small fee every month, that is enough to go sell your company even for well into the millions. You can literally set up an entity or a platform and build up enough users, say 10,000 users on the platform, but consistently spending a small amount. Literally, they could be spending $20 each times 10,000 people. You do the math. That is enough to literally go sell your company and possibly get upwards in the millions. And the reason why I found this out, I'll tell you where I, I, I saw it. It was on David Shan's channel, Social Proof. He's got a channel on YouTube. And he had a guy on there that specialized in taking your business and he would sell it for you. You could literally build a business and he can go sell it for you. People were laughing at me when I said build a company to take public or to sell. This guy said if you can get active several thousand followers in one platform, he could sell your company for upwards of a million or better. And that's what Troy is trying to do. He's just trying to get a steady stream of users so that the company is worth something so that he can go sell it and go chill somewhere. That is the dream. But I was starting to realize that it's very doable. It's not out the realm of impossible because I have all the pieces. I have the right law firm that I work with. I've got the experience from the mistakes I made with my current holding company, you know, that was a whole nother story, you know, but I'm now gonna newly form a new company that I'm gonna brand myself with hard. Just like Troy be branding his stuff and be having rings and everything all on the screen. I'm gonna brand my new company hard. I'm gonna come up with a brand name and I'm gonna do it solely for the purposes of showing you guys the journey. Now, how does that benefit me? I have more content. And that's the whole basis for why I'm doing all this. It's gonna be more content. And more content means more dollars for me, hopefully in the future. But it is not out of the realm of impossibility to set up an LLC Get your personal credit decent. The, like I said, it's the best time in the world. You can go to the the, uh, the government and they're giving you upwards of 25 to 50K to start your business. And I've already got a basic outline you can use because I'm working with a company that has a software platform that you can use for your business. So you don't even have to come up with the idea and build it. Website's done for you. It's all ready. You can even have, do a video with yourself explaining the service so it looks like it's branded to you. You know, check mine out. Landrake.com, check it out. And it will show you that I have a software business that basically is going to be the outline for this business, you know, and it's going to give me a good concept to run with to show banks, okay, this is a legitimate small business and just give me more funding. 
So just continue the journey of watching me. I'm going to walk you guys through it all. You know, please support. Check the links below. Subscribe, like, comment. And I'm going to check you guys in the next one. Thank you.